right, so to start, I'm going to start off with, first off, we've got to do things hardware-wise. So since we're going to be doing that, I'm going to talk about what's actually in the machine while we get tear, take care of this here. Uh, right in the hand, so just so everybody knows, there's this right here. We're actually going to go ahead and install. This is one of the hardware pieces. This is a uh, dual SAS card or dual SAS single card. This allows uh, for dual 6 gig a second for basically a JBOD unit is actually the plan. So we're going to go ahead and get this in the DL370. This is a DL370 by HP. It's a Gen 6 model. It's got three A-bay uh, drive bays up on the front. Brandon, you good there in the back? Yep. Power cables were out. Remember, I always say power cables out whenever you actually uh, work on anything. All right. Where do you want to put this guy? I'm thinking we should put him up here. Right here? All right. I know you guys only get to see the, the back of me right now. I'm, I'm down here digging in. Hold on. I'll, I'll grab the camera in just a second and show you guys actually what we're seeing down here. It's kind of cool. All right. Brandon, do you have your phone on you? No, but I can get it. You might get it just so we can have some light. I, I kind of want to... Yeah, so hold on. Let me grab the camera real quick. I know you guys can see my chest now. Okay. I'm going to move forward. Try to go nice and slow. So here's the 30... Or sorry, the DL370 Gen 6 in all of its glory right here. That's the... Card we just installed back there. There's our SAS expander with all the lovely SAS cables, as you can see. We've got two, two 5680. Uh, that's eight cores. I want to say they're at 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, eight cores, 16 threads with hyper threading. And then, as I said here up in the front, we've got all of these nice drives. They're not completely full, but most of the way there, I believe we've got eight 300 gig 10Ks, seven 600 gig 10Ks, and eight 500 gig. 7K, so all in the nice drive bays, all ready. Now, I know these two are labeled wrong, but you know, sometimes you gotta make do with the drive bays you have, you know, with the drives you get. So, here we go, guys. So, as we, let me go ahead and put this back, <laughs> get this set back up. But we're actually gonna go ahead now and we're gonna get FreeNAS installed. So, we're gonna install it via the USB. There's already a USB inside FreeNAS itself, a server. The other thing that Brandon's already done, and one thing you need to always do, is take out every single drive and look at the actual serial number and write down what bay the drive's in. Brandon will probably get in power yet. I'm gonna take one of these out. So, as you see here, we've got a drive. Well, the drive actually has a serial number on it, and we actually take that serial number, put it down inside of an Excel sheet to make sure that it actually is where it is, so that way, the main reason is, is later on what's going to happen is you're going to actually get a failed drive later on in FreeNAS and it only tells you a serial number. So if you write down that serial number and already know what bay it's in, it easily allows you to just go in and swap it in and put it in a new one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and power it back on. Power it back on, yep. All right, I got the USB in. All right, and we got uh, the KDMs plugged into it too. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. The big bad boy turns on. You can hear it. It's like a jet. There it goes. Okay. I'm gonna close this. Hopefully, all right. Looks like we're kind of sweet and doesn't actually get into the. Uh... All right. Do you remember channels on? It's already on one. Okay, it's on one, okay. Yep. All right. I had to do the same thing. It's up. I guess we're waiting for it to fully boot. Did you, are you sure it was? Yeah. 
No problem. We'll give it its time. Did come up on screen yet? No, yeah, it's still sitting here like it's act like it's not. Is it USB plug in? Yeah, the USB and VGA for the KVM are both plugged in. And you said you gave it away. It looks like it's still doing a check and drives and such. I guess we just gotta be patient. There we go. See, look, if we're patient, Brandon. It's always hard to wait in technology. You know that? It'd be worse. You're not wrong. I would too, man. I know. Are you jealous? My heart goes out. Can't wait to use Explorer for that only. Yeah, you're gonna have to use an IE9. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Well, we'll update the uh, firmware. You'll be fine. We'll probably update. Uh, I'll probably get a really up to date like ILO two or ILO three, maybe ILO four. I'll build a new uh, base. Look at that. Dual fifty five eighty. Ooh, three three point two gigahertz. I'll just go ahead and patch it to the PCSA. Oh, there you go. Right. Yeah. So baseline is a good library. You can. Yeah. 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 Eight course enabled hyper thread and then F11. F11. This is a nice find. It'll be really cool doing three uh, small four factor JV units. Like, so you can do 24, 48, what is that? 72, 72, two and a half inch right now. And they get nothing but SSDs. All fours are right SSDs. Darn. In a perfect world, that'd be amazing. <laughs> You'd have so much <laughs> bonus. Just one solid state. Just one solid state. It's a bunch of solid states per bonus. It just, it just start uh, selling plasma, you know, and everything else, and just all goes into your lap. Just be one of these guys. Just kidding. Don't do that. It's a terrible idea. Although it would be pretty cool to have all. Like, whew, I don't think. Can you imagine the speed of that though? Yeah, that'd be pretty phenomenal. That would be. Have you seen one of those base hold out with a solid state? All right, I think we want to do three. So hopefully that's the right use. Yep, free BSD, there you go. Sweet. Win it. There you go. We want to do one. Boot free NAS installer. Do I really care about it? I mean, we can. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be able to really see much. Actually, probably not, because they're just going to be... I mean, you can probably see them back here if you want to, but... I don't think it's going to look good seeing the, uh, the screen. You already so, have videos on this as well, too. Process. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to know how to install FreeNAS, I have videos, I'll put them somewhere up above. Uh, but that's all we're about to do. We're going to go ahead and install FreeNAS, we're going to get this done. And then the, the other thing we're going to go ahead and get is the V switches and everything else. Let's go ahead and install. You want to install on the USB disk there. Look at that. It already sees that's interesting. It already sees the RAID. Probably sees one of my old RAIDs on those drives. <laughs> I was going to say, you want to do uh, your password there, sir? Preferably, that would be ideal. Alright, it would be a virus, for sure, because it's so old. Yeah, it's all the virus. No chance. <laughs> then we need to, after this, we actually need to boot in and we need to do the rate controller. Because mm -hmm. then we need to blow it all the way. And see if we can just make it present itself as JVMD. That's going to be key. That's true. That's very true. Which I think we're going to be able to because it goes directly from the motherboard into the SAS expander, and then the SAS expander goes to all the drives. So since it's plugged directly into the motherboard, we're using the motherboard's controller, which makes me think that the motherboard should support JVMD. And it's not like we're going into like a dedicated, you know, like H700I or a or something, you know. So. I could definitely verify that by looking at it right here, right? I would highly doubt it if anything else. It'd be, I'd, I'd be surprised that. Right. Yeah. Alright, so on base OS 104, alright, so um, I'm probably going to speed it up during this time, guys, so just uh, stick around and kind of watch and listen to the music as we get everything done from here, and we'll be back. Thank you.
It's done. It says it's done. It's done. <laughs> so you gotta have fun in life, you know? <laughs>